Hey everybody, Scott Sprenitzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, January 14, 2020. Free college basketball play in a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, there's a real cool way to do so. You click on the link below this video and you get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as that. Get started by clicking on the link below this video. All right, uh, we're going to look at a college basketball free be in just a moment. First, a quick note. Yesterday, uh, basketball, we had one NBA play. Unfortunately, I lost by about a point and a half with the Chicago Bulls after a weekend sweep in the NBA. We won in the NHL. That was a shutout winner with the Washington Capitals, which were laying about a buck 35. On Tuesday's card, a very rare a situation going for me. I've got a seven-star play in the NHL on Tuesday, and it will be available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, only at DocSports.com. Seven-star play in the NHL. College basketball, I've got a five-star play going on Tuesday slate. The college baskets, as you know, will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. There's your call times, so to speak. You go to the website, check out my Handicappers homepage, and you can get either or both of those plays. And don't forget about that free $60 account if you're not yet a member over at DocSports.com. Seven-star play in the NHL, five-star play in college baskets. Don't miss out on Tuesday's slate at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our free college basketball play for Tuesday night. It's a Big 12 battle. Kansas off the loss uh, to Baylor. Going to travel to take on Oklahoma at Lloyd Noble. And that, of course, in Norman, Oklahoma. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at this matchup. And first of all, your gut reaction says, okay, Kansas probably bounces back after a double-digit loss uh, to to the Baylor Bears. I, I do kind of look for that, but also I want to make sure the point spread is within my numbers. And I do think that when you look at the fact that uh, Devin Dotson is expected to be back in uniform for Kansas in this game, suffered a hip pointer the other day, uh, that this line is definitely reasonable and fair if you do like the Jayhawks laying six and a half. I looked at what happened in that game. I watched most of that game against Baylor, but you're still talking about the fact that Kansas had a couple of injuries during the game. Uh, they did turn the ball over too much. There's no doubt about that. They were outscored 21 to 2 on points off of turnovers by the Bear Baylor Bears. But I'm going to tell you right now, this Baylor Bears team is a legit top five team. And Oklahoma, they're top 50, but they're nowhere close uh, to the Baylor Bears as far as their power rating is concerned or their lineup for that matter. Uh, but I look again at this Kansas team and I'm thinking, all right, you got the sixth best or most effective field goal percentage in all of college basketball. They're 23rd on defense in effective uh, percentage effective field goal percentage allowed, I should say. And if you look at the way they've played off a loss, they've been spectacular off a loss under Bill Self. 41-19 and 19 against the spread, in fact, off their last 60 straight-up losses. So you got a real nice sample size there. Uh, as of week A, by the way, for Kansas, had a huge game defensively against Baylor. He swatted away I think it was six or seven shots in the contest. But again, with Devin Dotson coming back and expected to play in this game and to be in uniform uh, with the sore hip, I think that makes a big difference in this contest uh, when he's on the court. As far as Oklahoma is concerned, defensive turnover percentage is bad. Uh, three of their last four losses have come by double digits. So when the Sooners have lost, they've done so by a pretty wide margin for the most part. Uh, their effective field goal percentage is weak. So when you look at you know some of the metrics involved in these two teams, you got definite advantages for the Kansas Jayhawks besides the fact that Kansas had the seventh toughest non-conference strength of schedule. And now with conference games included, that's all the way up to the number one toughest schedule in college basketball by Ken Palm, uh, for example. And then you got, of course, the Sooners being 0-6 in the last six at home against the number. And I think it adds up to a Kansas win. Listen, even if Dotson is unable to go or is only playing at about 85%, I think everybody else picks up the slack off that loss to the Baylor Bears. And again, do not sell Baylor short. They might call that an upset. I don't think that's an upset when the Baylor Bears go into any gym or any arena and come away with a victory no matter who they're going up against for the most part. Uh, so again, we're going to back Kansas, our freebie, laying the points at six and a half. That is our free play for Tuesday's college basketball. And again, don't forget about what's going on for me over at DocSports.com. Five-star play in college basketball, seven-star play in the NHL. Don't miss out on either one. Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Wednesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have at least two free videos picks up for Wednesday's college. Uh, in college basketball. Big slate on Wednesday. We'll talk to you then.